Good morning, everybody. Sunday, August 6th. Tommy Gunrichi here for a rare Sunday video. Three quick picks for you. August 6th, two banging sports talk. We're live in the, well, we're recording, but we're still doing it live, right? In the uh, East Coast Studios, Long Island, New York. Um, happy to be here. We're off a pretty good day yesterday. The show picks, we ended up squeezing out one unit. We went four and three with those picks. Uh, on our Twitter picks, we uh, had a three-unit day. We had two nice late picks yesterday. So uh, with Seattle, minus 135. And I went back with one of my losses, which I do a lot on uh, from Fridays. Uh, I had the, uh, I lost on the over, on the under, actually, in the uh, Dodger game. And um, this time I went back to the total. I played the over. And uh, we got lucky with that bet last night. They uh, It sailed over with the Padres. I know a lot of people were looking at that under with Snell, but um, I had a feeling both pitches were going to get tagged up a little bit. But be that as it may, let's talk about today. First game on the docket I have is Cubs, of, Cubs Braves. Now, this is a, a, a series that I've been on every game. I opened up with that Braves win on Friday. Um, I've been waiting for Max Fried to come back. I thought he was going to come back strong, and and uh, luckily he did. He had a great performance. We hit a nice double result, plus 210, with him uh, having more uh, six Ks or more, and uh, the Braves win. But I gave back some of it yesterday when I backed the Braves in a run line. It was even money, so the, the price was right. Um, honestly, I am not the best run line player. I, I don't hit many run lines. I don't know what it is. I'm having a very good year capping. I seem to hold my own in Major League Baseball over the last few years. But when it comes to run lines, man, they, I just do not have a good record with that. And that's something that you only know if you keep records like you're supposed to and you go back and look at your records every month at least, you know, even or I would say no more than two months. But you should, you know, track that stuff because... You forget, you realize that, um, you know, how bad sometimes you're doing. You know, you always remember the good things. You don't remember all the bad. So, you know, just my little tip, like I always try to give out, and I talk about a lot, record keeping. I know it sounds simple. It's made me such a better capper when I learned how to properly record keep. So, anyhow, let's go to the game. Uh, Morton against Steele. You know, Morton hasn't been the best. He has, uh, he's, you know, they, I think he's lost their last three start, their last three starts. Um, and, uh, but I just think Morton's going to bounce back a little bit today. The price was right. I took the Braves minus 115. I'll tell you that game yesterday with the Cubs, um, look what, look at that line. Look what happened with Elder. Listen, I, I still think it was the right cap re wrong result. And that happens sometimes, you know, um, because Elder got blown up in the first inning. He gave up five runs. We usually don't see that happening with any Braves pitcher. Um, Elder's been pretty solid uh, 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 across the board up until then. And if you look at what he did afterwards, he pitched pretty good. He only let up two more runs after that. But his uh, stats for yesterday, his box score was not good. Four and one. Four, uh, four innings pitched, 4.1 innings pitched, seven hits, seven runs, five earned, three walks, three Ks, two homers that five inning uh first inning was the Braves came back though what did the Braves do they stay uh by the fifth inning they had it down to five to two then they scored another couple two more runs then they scored two more runs in the ninth they had they did score six runs final score eight six Cubs did much didn't do much after that did they so, uh the Braves pen which has uh been been very good this year um, held down the Cubs, and listen, the Braves almost came back, you know, if you uh, remember last week, and um, and it's the reason, and this is why you got, I know a lot of guys don't like looking at the uh, past results about what happened the day before, or the week before, or the last few games before, or against this certain team maybe a week or two ago, but I do, and and it's the reason why sometimes I, I'll, I'll hit a good dog for that reason. Case in point, last week, uh, final game of the series, Braves and Brewers. Um, the Brewers went ahead in that game. You look it up. They went ahead four times in that game. The Braves came back every time and finally won the game late, and they beat the beat the Brewers in that game. Um, and what I took from that is that that was demoralizing for the Brewers. 
that that's a tough way to lose when you go up on a team four different times and they still come back and beat you. Um, that's something that's uh, got to stick in your head, especially when you got to fly out that night from Atlanta, go play a Washington Nationals team that you should beat in, Nash in national land, and you don't. And I backed the Nationals that day. I'm not the only one. I know a few of us on Team Who Banging, you know, uh, Followed the same theory, and uh, we had a nice, you know, dog win with the Nationals. But that's, I, I say that not to say because I won a dog bet. And I say that to watch out. Sometimes it does mean a lot what happened the day before. I think that that um, adds on to today. I believe the Braves bounced back off of that game yesterday. I feel like it's an anomaly. I feel steel has been. Um, I hate the word regression for some reason because the, the way we use it. But I feel he's not pitching uh, as good as he was at the start of the year. Um, he's off that big win against Cincinnati. If, if you remember, 20-9 to was the final score. But he did not have a good outing. He didn't pitch great. His team backed him, and that's, you know... You know, and not not that he don't deserve it, and not that he's not a good pitcher, but I don't. I think people think he's a little bit better than he is, and um, and the reason why the Braves were all, only minus one fifteen when I took him, I believe, uh, that game twenty to nine win, six innings, six Ks, zero walks, which is good, but nine hits, a homer, four earned, five total. That's what he gave up in that game, guys. So uh, out of those nine runs that um, he gave up five of them. So uh, I don't really like Steele. I think the Braves will get to him today. I think the Braves might be a little angry from yesterday. Let's go with the Braves. Minus 115. Just as quickly, as far as the bullpen, I was checking out the bullpens, and this is a big discrepancy in these teams. Now, these two teams, uh, the Cubs and the Braves, they've been like the hottest teams really in the National League for, for the last, what, 30, 45, maybe 60 days. Cubs have been hot. Cubs are really the third, um, have the third lowest uh the third highest run differential in the National League. I think fifth or sixth in all of Major League Baseball, but the Braves and the Dodgers in the National League are the only ones that have a higher run differential than the Cubs. Um, now, yesterday's performance where the Cubs had uh, eight runs, that could that could have made it. I know they had 74 going into the game, but they're right there with that, the Cubs. But Braves are just so much better. You know, their starting pitching is, is better in, on every turn. Um, you know, we could talk about the Braves all day long. If you talk about one team that's a solid team that I would say, you know, is definitely going to be in the playoffs, obviously that's not a big thing. But I, I, I really see them going again to the World Series. I don't see them I, getting far, getting, you know, winning those, you know, games. I think they'll go right through the playoffs. I think this year might be the Braves' year. Um, there's nobody in the National League I think that's close. In the American League, I don't know. Are Texas Rangers that good? I don't think there's – I love the Rangers. I don't think compared to the Braves they are. But we'll see what happens. A lot of baseball left. What, we have uh, all of like seven, maybe seven weeks, maybe – not eight, but maybe seven weeks left of baseball. So a lot of things happening. But the bullpens, quickly on the bullpens, just uh, in some rankings, in strikeouts and walks, what's uh, the Braves? They're ranked first. In whip, in bullpen whip, they're ranked first. Where the Cubs are ranked 13th in whip, they're, work, they're ranked 19th in strikeouts. Um, opponents uh, on base percentage, they're, they're, they're pretty both pretty close. Um, actually very close. Braves are ranked 11th. Um, Cubs are ranked 12th. But you get you get my drift. Um, how you know how much better the Braves are to the Cubs. So we went with them today. Next game up is Seattle against the um, Angels. This series is. Um, I did have the Seattle last night as a late pick minus 135, but. Um, but I, listen, Seattle's a good team. I think Seattle's hot. I think Seattle's getting better. Um, they definitely, uh, I think, have the better pitching staff overall than the Angels. I think um, they got the way better bullpen than the Angels, uh, which is, you know, which is just obvious. And I um, kind of like the Angels today. And when I am usually don't like the Angels, I'm not an Angel backer. I think there's just such many flaws in that team. I hear about Otani, 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 and still the team 
um, loses and is not, you know, underachieving. Underachieving. The same way I talk about the Mets, same way I talk about the Padres. This team is underachieving. Uh, you know, after that All Star break, and when we heard that they were, uh, they, after August 1st, we heard that Otani was not going to get traded. Uh, the Angels came out. They looked good, you know, for a game or two. Now they're back to their same old Angels. So, but today, I think it's a little bit of a different story. I think the pitching matchup favors the Angels, um, and I uh, I took the Angels first five minus one twenty five. Um, Miller, not he's not he. If we're talking about the pitches, starting pitches and stuff, obviously he's on the bottom end of that starting rotation, but. Uh, you know, he hasn't been pitching well for Seattle's last three. 16 innings pitched, a 7.02 ERA, a 1.32 whip. So that shows you that he's let up a lot of home runs because the whip isn't so bad, you know, compared to that 7 ERA. Uh, 17 strikeouts to 7 home runs. That's his last three outings. In those last two outings, um, one was against the Twins and the other was the, I believe it was the Red Sox. Um, he had six homers, 12 earned combined in those two starts. Silseth, not not a bad pitcher. He hasn't pitched a lot this year, but he's pitched well. Overall, 3-1 and one record, a little t a tick under 4 ERA, 1.33 whip. But his last two starts I thought were impressive. He had a good start against the Yankees, 5 and 2 thirds, 10 Ks, 1 run, you know, the Yankees, as we know, aren't the Yankees uh, that were like last year, but um, and they haven't been hitting the ball. But still, a good, good start for him. And then he had a really good start again against the Braves. And we just talked about how good the Braves are. Five innings and one run in a 4-1 win. So I'm backing him again today, but I want to stay away from those bullpens. Um, this might not be a bad spot to, to do one of those double results. I didn't look up the line, but they're usually juicy. Um, if you go the opposite way, Angels first five, Seattle full game. When you do the opposite with these teams, or even if you went Seattle first five, Angels full, you'll get those big lines sometimes, you know, um, plus 500, plus 900. I've seen plus 1100 in some of those. I didn't look today. I'll try to look as we're, as, as I'm talking, but, um, I like the Angels today. First five minus 125. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Um, last game. Now, this game, as I started doing the recording, what happens? They switch my pitcher. Tampa Bay Rays today against the Tigers. I did have the Tigers yesterday, plus 130. It was a pick that, uh, uh, honestly, everybody was against me on the chat in, on our show, and I was very leery about that because, you know, I don't like when I'm on the only one, um, you know, out on that island there. But I like the Tigers yesterday for one reason and one reason only. I don't believe in Aaron Savali. I don't understand the move from Tampa Bay. I kind of think that Cleveland knew a little something. I have a feeling not that Savali pitched so bad yesterday, but I don't see him as a as a play on pitcher. I don't like you know there's a, his X numbers, his his advanced numbers, his X FIP coming going forward before yesterday was in the fours, even though his ERA was around two six or whatever it was. So uh, I was a big fan of Savali. I mean, basically Cleveland replaced Savali for Syndergaard. Don't understand it. I did back Cleveland less yesterday in a loss. I had them in the first five. Minus a half, minus 105. Did not work out. The White Sox tagged them um, early and ended up winning the game. But um, like I said, Savali um, is not the pitcher that I think he, he is. And yesterday he got hit. And yesterday he took the loss. Four innings pitched, nine hits, three runs, three earned, four Ks. Um, and listen, I talked yesterday how I like Scooball, um, you know, and only because he's pitched well at home and not on the road, but pitched well at home. So we had a pretty good uh, today uh, outing yesterday. So we got that at a plus 130 nice price. But today I went looking at it a little bit different because of the pitches. And it was Glass now, the 
to me, the one of the top, and I don't know why they, I guess they scratched him for tomorrow. I didn't look at the advanced games for tomorrow and see why. Hopefully he's not hurt. I think he's the number one pitcher in baseball. I know that's arguably, he's definitely one of the top three. The same way I talked about Freed. You know, I really think Freed's a top three, but I put him in the top five only because of that long layoff. But I I like Freed. I like Glass. Now, I think they're, they're two of the top three pitchers in the league. We could argue on which one goes where this and that. I think Tyler might take the case as the best pitcher in the league, in my eyes. But he's bat- He's against Matt Manning today. I'm not a Matt Manning p- a guy. Um, uh, last year, at the beginning of this year, Manning was coming along, but he, I th- it looks like he's hit a little bit of a stumbling block. His, um, let's see, what do we got on, uh, okay, so Glassdown gets scr- scratched. Ramirez is pitching. I didn't look up his numbers yet, but I kind of like the same bet. And my bet was Tampa team total over four and a half. Now it was minus. I think it was one twenty. Okay, wait, 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 wait. It was one twenty-five uh, with glass not pitching. Maybe I'll get a, fa- a better line. My uh, my bet's going to be canceled because it was based on the pitches. I didn't have action. I have the first five. I mean, I, I, the team total was based on the pitches, so that's going to get scratched. But I'm going to go back with it. I'm still going to recommend the, the uh, Tampa team total because I think Manning, I think they will get to Manning. But I didn't want to back them w- with glass now at the minus 165 price. Now I'm not sure what the new line is going to be. I haven't seen it yet. I'm trying to get it up now as we're talking. Um, let's go. With, let's just do a little bit of Matt, Matt Manning. Uh, his last... Uh, his last road start was against the Angels. Seven hits, seven runs. Um, no, his last start at home was against the uh, Angels. Seven hits, seven runs, and an 11-4 loss. His last two starts overall, like one was against the Pirates in a... Uh, oh, his last start was against the Pirates. Four earned, eight hits, in a 4-1... and uh, a One homer in a 4-1 loss. Um, I had all glass now stats, but, you know... Now we can't um, use him, but just in case he's pitching tomorrow, two on his ro- on the road. Glass now three and one two seven zero ERA, thirty eight strikeouts in twenty nine innings. So impressive. Race Penn is starting to get back to where they were. They're getting better. I still like this team total over, so I'm gonna stick with it. I don't know if there is a line yet. Let's. See, it looks like the Braves have taken some money. I got them at 115. Right now they are at minus 126. So we do like seeing that. Um, Tampa Bay, Ramirez, still still uh, minus 162, which I don't know about back in that. And the, uh, the team total over four and a half went up to minus 130. And I usually don't take over a minus 125. But I'm going to take it any, anyhow today. I'll break my rule. I'll go to the minus 130. It's not too much of a um, of an over, uh, not too much of a, a difference uh, for today. And I'll just put that in while we're while we're talking. And I'm going to so that's the bet. So it's going to be Tampa Bay. So here's my three bets, guys. Um, for a Sunday, our three quick picks maybe could have been a little quicker, but we did it in 20 minutes, so that's okay. Um, Tampa. Back in Ramirez, going against Manning. Team total over four and a half, minus 130. The Braves, minus 115. The Angels, first five, minus 125. I do have a couple leans also today. I'm, I am looking at a couple different games. I'll put them on Twitter if I get to them. But I'm trying to keep my Sundays light. I'm trying to keep my Sundays down to just a few bets. Because, again, going back to record keeping, which I talk a lot about, um, I, uh, I don't have the best Sundays for some reason. If it's a coincidence, uh, obviously, I mean, why would one day be better than another? And you see that when you read stats about certain teams and stuff, but listen, it happens. There are, you know, every stat, every record don't have to be quantified, right? So that's how kind of how I look at it. But until we're back again, I sp- talked about it yesterday. I'll be taking a break on our Thursdays for the rest of the month of August. I'll be back next Saturday live, 10 a.m., 10, 15 a.m. with Light It Up. 
Uh, then back in September, we'll be back with Thursdays and Saturdays, and we're going to try to add another show in there. Maybe we will just add a Sunday show in there. The month of September is going to be great. Uh, this run to the playoffs is going to be, uh, I think, is going to be one of the better years we've had in a few years. Not that we haven't had good ones over the last couple of years, but I think there's going to be some surprises. I, I don't think it's so cut and dry. I do think the Braves are cut and dry, but but that's, that's no great uh, prediction, is it? So anyway... I will see you soon. Remember, team who banging. Follow us, who banging sports talk. Follow me, Dami Gunrici, on Twitter. Follow us on YouTube. Please give us a like and subscribe. We could use their help. We love, uh, we love what we're doing. We've uh, really been, um, you know, adding a lot of shows. We got UFC shows coming on, which we never did. We still have our live sweat on Tuesdays. We still have our WNBA with Tease. Uh, which today he'll be on at, I believe, 145. Uh, boy, Tease will be on with some bangers for the WNBA. But until then, guys, uh, love you all. Have a great Sunday. Dami Gunrichi signing out.